Hello and welcome back to Tutoring Success, my level 7 pioneers. So today we are going to go over our third theorem. So firstly, we are going to look at the theoretical part of it and use one question as our practical example. So what does the third theorem state? So the third theorem states that the angle subtended by a diameter at the circumference of a circle is a 90 degree angle. So, my pioneers, let's look at this example that we have on our screen right now. So, where is our diameter? Our diameter is basically AB. So, that's our diameter. And then our next question will be, which angle does this diameter subtends at the circumference, right? So, it subtends uh, angle C. So our angle C is going to be what? It's going to be 90 degrees. So how do we go about using this as our reasoning? So we are going to say C is equal to 90 degrees. And then our reasoning, you are going to say angle in a semicircle, right? This basically means that, guys, the circle is being cut into two equal halves and then we call that a semicircle so the angle at the semicircle or a, or the angle in a semicircle is equal to 90 degrees so let's look at a practical example if this video is valuable to you so far please don't forget to put that like button guys and if you are having any question don't hesitate to drop it on our comment section below so we are given a diameter here guys so since we don't have a statement so we are just going to analyze the diagram right so given what we have learned we have just learned actually we know that q is is going to be equals to to 90 degrees right and another thing that i forgot to mention earlier is that uh, do we all remember our our previous theorem theorem number two i'm going to link it on our screen right now it simply stated that this angle at the center this angle is always going to be twice the angle at the circumference so that's how we come up with 90 degrees that means this angle here we can all all, all see that it's an angle on a straight line so it's 180 degrees given that that means our angle at the circumference is going to be 180 divided by 2 then it's lined but so far and so good you don't have to use that reasoning in this um in this problem right or in this theorem actually i was just showing you the relations between the theorems okay so that's all we have we have analyzed guys so our question uh, just ask us that calculate giving reasons the size of x right so we're firstly going to tell the person who's marking our paper that we know that Q is equals to 90 degrees. Our reasoning is going to be angle in a semicircle. After that, you are going to say uh, in triangle PRQ, you are telling the person who's marking the paper that you are considering triangle PRQ, right? You are going to say angle P plus angle R plus angle Q is going to be equal to 180 degrees. And our reasoning is going to be angles in a triangle are supplementary, right? Or they add up to 180 degrees. So we know that P we are given is 55 and R is our X and Q it's our 90 and uh, it's equals to 180 and then you are going to transpose you are going to be having 180 minus by 55 degrees minus by 90 degrees and then you just punch your calculator guys so our answer is going to be 35 degrees right and then that's how we go about the theorem 3 actually our third theorem from today guys you are all going to be known as my level 7 pioneers right so if you are having any question please don't uh, don't feel intimidated to ask on our conversation below i'll get back to you and if 
this video was so valuable to you don't forget to put that like button and on the screen right now you are going to see a, a link to our next video that's where we are going to be discussing our next theorem which is the fourth theorem